We're reading from the Mueller report. This is page 81. It's about George Papadopoulos. In March 2016, Papadopoulos became a foreign policy advisor to the Trump campaign. As early as the summer of 2015, he had sought a role as a policy advisor to the campaign, but in a September 30th, 2015 email, he was told that the campaign was not hiring policy advisors. In late 2015, Papadopoulos obtained a paid position on the campaign of Republican presidential candidate Ben Carson. Although Carson remained in the presidential race until early March 2016, Papadopoulos had stopped actively working for his campaign by early February of 2016. At that time, Papadopoulos reached out to a contact at the London Center of International Law Practice, LCILP, which billed itself as, quote, a unique institution comprising high-level professional international law practitioners dedicated to the advancement of global legal knowledge and the practice of international law, end quote. Papadopoulos said that he had finished his role with the uh, Carson campaign and asked if LCILP was hiring. In early February, Papadopoulos agreed to join LCILP and arrived in London to begin work. As he was taking his position at LCILP, Papadopoulos contacted Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski via LinkedIn and emailed campaign official Michael Glasner about his interest in joining the Trump campaign. On March 2, 2016, Papadopoulos sent Glasner another message reiterating his interest. Glasner passed along word of Papadopoulos' interest to another campaign official, Joy Lutz, who notified Papadopoulos by email that she had been told by Glasner to introduce Papadopoulos to Sam Clovis, the Trump campaign's national co-chair and chief policy advisor. At the time of Papadopoulos' March 2 email, the media was criticizing the Trump campaign for lack of experienced foreign policy or national security advisors within its ranks. To address that issue, senior campaign officials asked Clovis to put a foreign policy team together on short notice. After receiving Papadopoulos' name from Lutz, Clovis performed a Google search on Papadopoulos, learned that he had worked at the Hudson Institute, and believed that he had credibility on energy issues. On March 3, 2016, Clovis arranged to speak with Papadopoulos by phone to discuss Papadopoulos joining the campaign as a foreign policy advisor, and on March 6, 2016, the two spoke. Papadopoulos recalled that Russia was mentioned as a topic, and he understood that the conversation, from the conversation, that Russia would be an important aspect of the, tr- of the campaign's foreign policy. At the end of the conversation, Clovis offered Papadopoulos a role as a foreign policy advisor to the campaign, and Papadopoulos accepted the offer. Page 83. Approximately a week after signing on as a foreign policy advisor, Papadopoulos traveled to Rome, Italy, as part of his duties with LCILP. The purpose of the trip was to meet officials affiliated with Link Link Campus University, a for-profit institution headed by former Italian government official. During the visit, Papadopoulos was introduced to Joseph Massoud. Massoud is a Maltese national who worked as a professor, professor at the London Academy of Diplomacy in London, England. Although Mifsud worked out of London and was also affiliated with LCILP, the encounter with Ro- in Rome was the first time that Papadopoulos met him. Mifsud maintained various Russian contacts while living in London, as described further below. Among his contacts was deleted by Bill Barr, a one-time employee of the IRA, the entity that carried out the Russian social media campaign. In, in January and February 2016, Mifsud and, deleted by Bill Barr, discussed deleted by Bill Barr, possibly meeting in Russia. The inv- investigation did not identify evidence of them meeting. <coughs> Excuse me. Later in the spring of 2016, deleted by Bill Barr, was also in contact, deleted by Bill Barr, that was linked to an employee of the Russian Ministry of Defense. And that account had overlapping contacts with a group of Russian military-controlled Facebook accounts that included counts, accounts used to promote the DLC or the DC leaks releases in the course of the GRU's hack and release operations. According to Papadopoulos, Mifsud at first seemed uninterested in Papadopoulos when they met in Rome. After Papadopoulos informed Mifsud of his role in the Trump campaign, however, Mifsud appeared to take greater interest in Papadopoulos. The two discussed Mifsud's European and Russian contacts and had a general discussion about Russia. Mifsud also offered to introduce Papadopoulos to European leaders and others with contacts in the Russian government. Papadopoulos told the office that, of, that Masoud's, Mifsud's claim of substantial connections with Russian government officials interested Papadopoulos, who thought that such connections could increase his importance as a policy advisor to the Trump campaign. On March 17, 2016, Papadopoulos returned to London. 
Four days later, candidate Trump publicly named him as a member of the Foreign Policy and National Security Advisory Team, chaired by Senator Jeff Sessions, describing Papadopoulos as an oil and energy consultant and an excellent guy. On March 24, 2016, Papadopoulos met with Mifsud in London. Mifsud was accompanied by a Russian female named Olga Polonskaya. Mifsud introduced Polonskaya as a former student of his who had connections to Vladimir Putin. Papadopoulos understood at the time that Polonskaya may have been Putin's niece, but later learned that this was not true. During the meeting, Polonskaya offered to help Papadopoulos establish contacts in Russia and stated that the Russian ambassador in London was a friend of hers. Based on this interaction, Papadopoulos expected Mifsud and Polonskaya to introduce him to the Russian ambassador in London, but that did not occur. Following his meeting with Mifsud, Papadopoulos sent an email to members of the Trump campaign's foreign policy advisory team. The subject line of the message was, quote, meeting with Russian leadership, including Putin. It's the Mueller report.